well, here it is. Let's do it. Junior horologist. Okay, why would you put that there? Okay, what now? Now you have to tell them it. Oh, I thought you were going to tell them it. No, you. Me? Oh, okay. Well, Sebastian chose for... Oh, I forgot. Let's check. Dad, why do you have a little bit of hair on your arm? Uh, I have a lot of hair on me because I eat beets. Uh, okay, so this is uh, this is a 6106 7539. It's from 1972. It was part of Seiko's mania for these big sort of clunky, brutalistic uh, bracelets. You don't see them very often. Uh, and I have also the gold version. Never restored either. That one I did. Okay, Sebastian chose this one. Some people may remember um, that I got this watch. I, I've been looking for one of these for so long that I forgot I was looking for it. This is a... Hey, hang on a second. There we go. Yeah. 61198140. And look, and it's got the slightly old school squarish number fonts. So, hey. Oh, oh I'm sorry. It, it's April 68. Uh, but the thing that's really exciting, of course, is that it is, oh. well, dirty. Uh, but also that it has tritium. Um, it has trit tritium style loom. It's like explorer style loom. It's actually, it's really cool. Anyway, I'm sorry, Sebastian, what were you going to say? <laughs> I did not know that watches were cars. Look, Sebastian, we have two of these. See, look, there's the other one. I didn't even know. Okay, but we're not working on these right now. Okay, so we are looking at this watch. It's super cool. It's got a matte dial, like a matte satin dial, underprinted silver numerals that were then, um, the, it's a matte dial setup with puffy tritium loom. It's got a high polished chapter ring. That's a 6139 handset, as I always think of them, but that's really not correct, is it? Because this has this 6139 handset was put on this watch uh, almost a just shy of a year of before 6139s were even made. Okay, Sebastian, not too much bunking. You're gonna make people think that they're now we have to do different. No, I'm doing this watch. This is the watch. You wanted to rip this thing apart? Man, we got to start somewhere. Do, are, are you sure this is the one you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've liked this watch since the minute we got this thing in. Which watch? Uh, it's the 6119-8140 Vietnam era watch 19 with the... Huh? With the, Yeah, the one with the Arab dial. Uh, that dial color is just beautiful. That's really nice. Why is it cool? It's just, well, the Seiko Loom doesn't really want to do this. It doesn't like turning tan. It's very unusual for it to do so. There are some looms that Seiko did that were tan from the factory, but that was rarer. Um, that's pretty cool. It'll be okay. Everything's going to be okay, man. Don't you worry about a thing. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm into it here. In case you people are interested. You mean the YouTubers? Uh, yes, the people who live in my phone. Daddy, what's this? Little small peep. Uh, I don't know. Hang on. I think you just dropped it, buddy. 37 millimeters. Now, uh, I, now it didn't drop. You see it? Oh, can I look at this? Uh, well, hang on a second. I'm measuring this thing. So, 43 lug to lug. Uh, it's got, I think, 19 mil. Yeah, 19 mil. And it is also... Uh, man, 12 and something thick. The one thing that is super cool though, again, that this watch, uh, it also uses a, a, this is, it has a type, it must be, this is a three, this uses the same crystal as the 6105. I don't know that this thing has ever, ever been worked on. This looks like a, I don't know, John, we went back and forth on what to call them. This is like, to me, this looks like a true Type 3, maybe? I don't know, I'll have to pop it up. I'll be very curious to see it. But look at the glass surface. I mean, maybe did, somebody did swap the glass. I don't know, I'll have to see. I don't know. But the glass surface is good. I'll clean that up and we'll see. Oh, did you, you better watch out, man. Those things are sharp. They're not sharp. Yes, they are. You want to, yeah, no, the other side, the pokey side, those things are sharp. 
Can I have this one right? No, Sebastian, that's my set of digital calipers. They, they don't stay with me. They stay with me. Hey, 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 hey. You're going to blow somebody's eardrums out. You've got to be quiet, buddy. Why? No. That's what bag I'm in. What? Let's move this. Buddy. Uh, uh, hang on just one second. Why? Young lady, what, what bag are you in? Are you? Did you find any more of these watches? <sighs> it's one of those dress divers. You saw it. I just showed it. Okay, you. here is the case back off. Uh, yeah, well, that's a big old servicing mark. I, uh, I must have been, must have had my head in the clouds when this came in. I think actually when it came in, we were in the middle of kind of a difficult week. And I don't think I paid a lot of attention to it right when it came in. Wow. I, how could this thing have got... Look at that. The seal is just... Just scrap. 4631. And look, and there was a mark below it that was already cleaned off. Isn't that interesting, huh? Little pitting on the case back in. Eh? Oh yeah, I was right. Yep. 6119A. It's the one with the asymmetrical screws. Single language day wheel. Orange text. 21 joules. Well, we're going to up that. Let me tell you that. I'll tell you that for nothing. Yep, and it's got the early, early... These were only used for a couple of months in 6105s or anything around that time it's the pre it's the pre separate spring ring these are when these spring bits get mashed down you have to spread them open like this to get it to give more oomph yeah um okay let's see well you know there's nothing to it but to do it Oh, if anybody could translate that for me, that'd be awesome. Hey, you, you are? He asked what I was doing. Oh, I understand. Not talking to you or the people at your oh. Well, I'm sure that makes them sad. Okay, come on, stop that, stop it. Yeah, I'm going at this hot. That's a pretty nice shape, hmm? It's not bad. We're getting... No, I can't tell. No, it looks like it's pretty okay. Hmm. Okay. This is just... I like doing it this way. Having the movement held and the movement in the case is... For me, is just a good place that I like to be. I know it's not quite as... I should have the case in a case holder, but you know, so far I've gotten away with not doing that, so I guess I'm going to keep not doing it. Probably to my detriment. Oop, there we go. Let's get this bridge off of here. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of other reasons, too, to love these 6119As. Uh, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is that they have, they don't have um, diafix uh, settings in them. And so the jewel counts are the same. They're both 21 jewels. But the, instead of the, it, basically they have more jewels in different places that are stupid. But I actually, I'm. this is going to sound crazy. I'm actually not a big fan of diafix. But that's my insanity. Oh gosh, I wonder how Sadie did on our bike. Sadie, she was Sadie? Huh? Did it work? Bro, that bike is so nice. I keep telling, I've been telling you for years how nice that bike is. It is it's just serious, it's like a Cadillac, it just glides. I don't know what that's like, but okay. You were bicycling sort of a, 
a pile of pool noodles that were made out of metal for some reason and in a bike form and that thing that you were just riding was that was a real bike that was the real deal well i'm glad that it went well did you did, did so the braking in it feels all nice and tight and good 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 that's awesome It's right, it's uh, over, maybe behind the computer. She's going to try and fix it for you. She got uh, the right kind of glue that'll, that'll go into the ceramic. And... Yeah, it was her idea. Yeah, it was... How did he took that thing apart? T what, how did I took what thing apart? Uh, this, I took it apart piece by piece. What happened to it? Well, nothing's happened to it. Right now what's happening to it is that it's being taken apart for the first time in a very long time, I have to believe. And I you know tomorrow what we are fixing. What? Well, I don't know. We are fixing this one. We are, huh? Tomorrow. We are? Well, today we're fixing this one. That is true. Now that is a beautiful watch. That is a really beautiful watch. We're gonna fix it tomorrow. Yeah, I know it looks like it doesn't need to be fixed, but it's never been serviced. Well, we actually have to fix it. Yeah, it's really nice. Alrighty. That's the one time that I prefer these blue dials to the black ones. Is that I think the blue dials, the proof ones with the two-piece sweep, I think it's the best, best looking combo. Uh, he's he's been talking about how thirsty he was for a while. I I didn't see his his. Uh... Yeah, he's gonna drink water with oh, he's gonna drink while he's that he's determined. I guess. Uh, I guess it's craftsmanship drinking water with a spoon, but I don't think it's efficient. Let's see now. Okay, you, you go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Is that oil? Yeah, seriously, is that? Yeah, that looks like oil. Soaked in oil. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's... There's definitely some loose lubrication in there. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I want to find out. I really do want to get that translated, and we'll see what we can see. How old is this gasket? Let's see how the crown gasket does. Wait, crown gasket is squishy? Okay, it looks like the crown gasket is new. Okay, that, or new-ish, I mean it's squishy anyway. I mean I'm gonna replace it anyway, but... Isn't she pretty? That's yeah, pretty cool. Alrighty, I'll see what I can do about the the loom patina on the hands. When it gets to be this black, you're usually kind of a little too far gone, but looking through my things, I do have, or did have, or might have, or may have, not that. Oh, come on, Spencer, did you do it again? That's a silly question, of course I did. Okay, so anyway, going through my things, 
new old stock. Oh, it's interesting though. Look at that. The hand tube on this one is aluminum or steel, and on this one it's brass. Huh. I wonder what's up with that. Isn't that weird? Hmm. I'll have to look at that. Okay. Well, that's, I think, enough for today, and uh, we'll deal this up. Uh, we uh, got a working week and work and all that stuff, but you know, we will. I will keep finding time and we'll keep it going. I knew I said I was done, but I uh, just for fun, I started, you know, absentmindedly doing stuff. So I, I popped the bezel off. Definitely no. I mean, obviously the back case back is signed for having been serviced, but I can tell you it was not recent. Um, this crystal has been in here for so long that they, <laughs> this is a replacement crystal with a probably a generic actually m maybe because this edge isn't quite as sharp as i would expect from seiko but i could be wrong but this is white that's natural rubber it's not vulcanized uh this was a a best fit part used to see stuff like this um and they age terribly seiko makes this gasket out of viton uh and they will never get this stiff um that out and look it just popped right out a, a Chris the original Seiko crystal and an original Seiko Viton crystal gasket will it will hold firm in many cases it will hold 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 like it will hold on for dear life and it's still squishy whereas this thing is like she's yeah and this stuff this is like this is literally you know the old white wall tires on cars and stuff that's literally what this stuff is natural rubber you did? Yeah, look at that. Junk. Okay, so this is a service crystal. And I have to figure out what it is. It is internally domed, externally flat. This is this is a this is a I always advocated calling these a type uh a four. No, no, these should have been the type three. Jonathan named the other weird, weird variant the type three. It shouldn't be, because nobody uses them. They're almost impossible to find in the wild. These I find a lot. If I had my druthers, this would be the type three, not the type four. This should, because this is the next one in the progression. It really is. It's got some scratches on it, but I'll see if I can clean up. That's a that's a nice crystal. I'm sorry, what, buddy? I am here. What, you are here, even though it's. Uh, well, gosh, it's not after your bedtime. <laughs> All right, let's see. Do we have a channel in here? No, just a metal. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we have. There you go. Your high polish piece that goes right over there. Yeah, it's a good looking case. Good looking case. Did you put tools in that one over there? Tools in which one over where? Oh yeah, there. No, there's there's not tools. There's you don't put those on the ends of your fingers. That's not what they're for. Okay, folks. Now we're done. Okay. Let's put this back. Then now what are you? Now I'm turning this off and it's the end of the day. I want to go off and do other stuff. Well, later on, actually several days later on, and uh, I have a sort of a weird block of time here, so I am going to maybe work on this a little. Uh, junior horologist is not with us. He is running around the backyard throwing sticks. Yes, yeah, so the metal on these hands is great. Well, it's a, well, we'll see. Put those through cleaning, and we'll see how those come out. Uh, yeah, there we go. Little bit of wiggling gets the job done. April 1968. Oh yeah, look at that. This not only has the early style ring, it has the, it has a black mo dial ring, and of course the early style fully enclosed dial screws. But I associate the black 
dial rings with uh, 6159s. I, I don't ever remember seeing one that did not have the black ring. And so this is the 6159 7000. Oh dear. Got us a little crack. Okay. I have another one of these black rings, so that's fine. I'll clean that one. Huh? See? Look at the date. 8-3. So March 1968. Case back is April 1968. That is entirely correct. Yeah, somebody was in here wasn't having much fun. Look at the scratch across the 10. See, we're getting some movement here on that. I don't know even why I bother why I'm I bother checking. I mean, they always need I mean they always need that lower mainspring arm report. Always. Why do I check? I guess it's good to check. Rather than fixing things that don't need fixing. But I am a little confused about the last time I checked one that did not need fixing. Clean as a new penny. Hmm. I don't know how much time this person put into this watch after it got serviced the last time, but it might not have been a ton. Look at that. It's not even dark. I might do it again. Yeah, look. The, it didn't even push out any of the barrel lubrication. Hmm. I'm going to hand clean that. And it's got the old style escape wheel too, where instead of having teeth right only at the top, it has them along the length of the entire shaft. That's another 6159 style thing. Wacky. Oops, I put that in the wrong basket. Yeah, somebody cleaned this thing, but boy, they sure as heck did not wear it. I can see the remains, like the ghost of lubrication there. But that's, that's it. This is a little worn. I'd be curious to see what they think about this. Look inside that mainspring barrel. Gosh darn it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, look, so it's got the old S2 in here. You can see that gray stuff. And the person just added regular lubricant right on top of it. He just cracked it open and put that in. You can actually see, you can see, I can see the liquid oil in here. Now, that's the wrong thing to do because what that does is you put liquid oil in there. Uh, it, then the liquid oil frees up all of the dried lubricant and metal dust and everything and it turns into a thing called a cutting slurry, which is... A, an abrasive liquid, and it eats everything. Okay, we're in the... Oh, my lord. Where did I put it? I don't know. I'm going to have to look for it. I'm going to find that other thing first before I pull them apart. I'll deal with that. Honey, is that the game or a cat? Uh, an cat? That's an actual cat. Do you know where the actual cat is? Don't come talk to me, lady. I'm doing stuff. Mm-hmm. <gasps> what? Oh, God. It freaked me out for a second. I forgot these things have... This port is jeweled. And it's like, why is that port jeweled? Because the port's jeweled, then you can't get to the top of the main... <sighs> Whatever. Um... It was a way for Seiko to boost the jail, the jail, the the jewel count without actually adding any real jewels, functional ones. That is. For a second there, I was like, "Oh my goodness, the lower mainspring arbor part already jeweled?" Because that's what's under there. But nope, just there. Boop. Old school man. You got the old, old style date selector lever here. A lot of, a lot of times people are not actually sure what those are when they see them because they're unusual. There that is. That's a little separate bit. Yeah, and that's a sixty-one fifty-nine style spring too. Huh. Interesting. Uh huh. Intermediary wheel is out. Our wheel. Can opinion. Center wheel. Really, really cracking, really. Yeah, she wants to. Did she even eat anything? Why did you come in then? Uh, our wheel's a little worn. I don't see that too often. That's just that's more slop than we like to see. I'm gonna clean that, and, but I'm probably gonna replace that. Let's get rid of the keyless works. Loop. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's the S4. So I'm going to use just a little bit of it in there, which is interesting. It goes in there. This goes in here. And now let's get that 
my shock out, and then I'm going to think about jeweling. Come on, come on, come on. It's a ridiculous Japanese thing. Kraken, I will let you on just a moment. Come on, darn it, out. I mean, I should be using Rotico right now, but someone stole it, so I'm going with Plan B. Out. Out. That didn't work at all. But it did get the, it, darn it, did get the diafix setting out, which works. And there it is, with its capsule. So exciting. Alrighty then. Let me clean this up and it doesn't look really worn, all things considered. Uh, lower mainspring armor board is definitely worn, but what do you expect? Okay, so we've got it all apart. I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to jewel it, clean it up and everything. And I'll come back for assembly, which will be its own video. Okay. It's pretty late. Kids aren't in bed yet, but they're thinking about it. Well, I'm thinking about it anyway. <clears throat> There's the lower mainspring arbor tool. All in place. Everything else has been cleaned and looks all bright. Bright and shiny. That's all great. That's all good. Oh, man alive. Oh. Right. I forgot to do something, darn it. Okay, well, it is now several days later. I went and uh, we worked on this, Sebastian and I did, and then he went to sleep and then a couple days went by and um, I had some time in the middle of the night when he wasn't there and so I kept working on it and I put it back together. Daddy, now this thing, what? I want to tell them what I did last night. What did you do last night? When I was, I grabbed your start and killed stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. You went out and killed monsters, right? Wow, aren't you a brave warrior? Brave warrior. Can, so, can I tell them that? Well, you already did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. They heard every word you said. No. Yes, they did. Not I guarantee it. If we wanted them to write a report on what you said, they'd be able to do it. No, they didn't hear me. They didn't hear. Okay, let me talk about the watch. How about that? That's kind of why we're here. Uh, well, I want to talk about that, what I did last night. You already did. No, I didn't. So, okay, Sebastian, can you please let me talk about the watch now? Okay, so here it is. It's it's running decently. Amplitude's a little lower than I want, um, but the accuracy is dead on. I, I think there's no problems with the... It's absolutely no beat error, no noise, nothing. It's just it's running a little lower than it should. But the train is beautiful, so I have to go back in and look at both the balance and the, the pallet fork. But, you know, honestly, I'm being nitpicky. <clears throat> it's tremendously accurate. I mean, it's running in the mid-200s, uh, you know, like 230, 240. I'd like it to be higher. But, uh, so I'm going to go and look at it. The other thing is that the, the moisture that was inside did two things. One... It damaged the hand loom to the point that the loom just came out. It just came out of the hands. It just wasn't there anymore. So I had to deal with that. The moisture also... Hey, Sebastian. What? Can you hold off humming for just a second? Thank you. Also, the moisture sort of steamed the day wheel printing loose. So it's all of the days are slightly faded. So I'm going to have... What I'm going to do is I'm going to look around and... Um, Hang on, Sebastian. I need to find basically a replacement single language kanji black day wheel for 6119A or 6106A, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, so this is the thing. So the watch came, it was serviced once a long time ago, as far as I can tell, because it has the old best fit type, uh, natu it had the old best fit type natural rubber crown case gasket. Um, I'm assuming, therefore, that the crystal that it came with then was a service crystal, and it's what I call 
a flat top type 3 versus the double dome type 3. It really, the double dome should have been called the type 4. This is really, that's the type 3. Sebastian, you're bonking stuff. Um, this one has some scratches in it. So I put it to one side and I'm like, well, the watch would have originally come with a type 1. That's when it was made. So I dug in all my crap and I found genuine type 1. And I put it in and I don't think I really dig it. So I want to pull this back off and think about what crystal I want to put in here. And then we have to talk about it. So let's, let me get that. Well, it has been, it has been an interesting week. Let's talk about this. What? Uh, well, let's talk. Let's finish up about this, Sebastian. What? In the final, in the final, checking it out. What do you think, Sebastian? You got a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Um. Yeah. Really, thumbs down. How come? I want to do car. What? You prefer a car? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well. <clears throat> I prefer this car. Prefer, okay, well, oh, 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 it, again, he wants to talk about his stuff. Okay, so right now I have, I was doing all the back and forth with crystals, and what I eventually ended up doing is I just put in, um, I reached into my stock and I got a, a, a genuine, uh, I basically, I had one brand new, like the service crystal that went into it. So this is a, what I call a flat top type three. And that's genuine Seiko, and that's in there. I have it on <clears throat> one of these 19 millimeter Spidel flat vents. There's just I just love them. Uh, they're just a just a teeny bit less beefy than than everything else out there. It's, they're they're just ridiculously comfortable, and they have a good vintage look, and they're like five dollars. I I love them, and they, for vintage sport divers, they work really really well. So the last thing actually though is I do want to get this on the original bracelet. These have, I think I know, these had a bracelet um, very similar to this baby. And these are the solid ones. These are the solid um, sort of oval link brick that went with the 7546 sport divers. That's how much Seiko loved these. They gave them a beautiful, solid link bracelet. Now, every, I'm amazed you can even, these bracelets are really cool. Nobody thinks about them because they don't think about these mid-side sport divers. Anyway, but that is what it's supposed to be here in theory. So I have to dig around for end links or something. The originals had uh, end links that were fully proprietarily marked to this model, 61, 19, 81, 40. They actually say that on the tabs underneath. I think it's an elegant watch. I, I have not really had a time, uh, had a had it on my wrist for a lot of time. I'm sort of getting used to it. Also, this has been a very strange week. Uh, but it's done. Uh, this date, by the no, way, is not, not right. No, it's not done. I don't like the bracelet. You don't like, well, okay, you don't like the, you mean you don't like the strap. Well, we got to get the right bracelet. It's supposed to have a bracelet like this. Well, I don't want the bracelet like What, that. what, you don't like this bracelet? I, I, you know, this is like are you, are you, I think that'd look pretty hot. I'm just going to tell you what part. But, but that, I don't think that one will fit, buddy, and that's, that's just a different kind of strap. I mean, it, oh, well, it will, it will fit. That is some... That's some whackness on that strap. Maybe this is another spider. Maybe this one. Maybe, oh well, really. 6139 8020 chronograph bracelet. Hey, you know, I don't think that'd look bad either. What about this one? Uh, ooh, well, this one here, I think it would look pretty neat. Yeah, that would be pretty elegant, don't you think? Yeah, we let's do that one if fits. Let's try it. Oh, okay, so that's the one you really, really want? Okay. Well, tell you what, uh, I'll do that, but that's not going to be the subject of this video, uh, unless I can really get my ducks in a row. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, in any case, folks, this was a little disjointed, a little odd, a little loud, I'm sure. I apologize to some of your eardrums, but I just think it's just such a neat model. Isn't that thing cool? I got it. That day wheel is killing me. Okay, all right. Thank you, folks.
Uh, so he, we are now talking about this car, and it is smashed. Um, this is for like your monster truck toy, right? I don't What kind of car was this? It's like I don't know. I can't even tell. Some kind of weird Honda. Okay. Did you have anything else to say about the car, or are we done? We're not done yet. Oh, I, you got to plan ahead on this stuff. Don't be like me. All right, folks, you have a better one. Good night.